there's a lot of parallels drawn between this current crisis that we've not seen for generations. Mm. During the start of World War II, we had a disastrous government, and that government was collapsed because people held it to account. And we switched from Chamberlain, an indecisive prime minister, to Churchill, who's not everybody's cup of tea, but he was the decisive prime minister. This is the Conservative Party. Mm. Would the Conservative Party of Margaret Thatcher be running the country the way this country is being run right now? It wouldn't. It's an absolute farce. It's an absolute joke. The man has got no leadership skills. And I'm sorry, he has to go. It's so, enough is enough. So when you said Margaret Thatcher, Brent, what do you mean? Just explain how you think it would be different. Well, how, how, how would it not be different? Yeah. I, I, by the way, I'm not a fan of Margaret Thatcher. I'm, right. I'm, yeah. I'm on the other side of the fence on mm. that. Mm. But I'll tell you one thing about her. Mm. When she put her mind to say she was doing something, she would do something. Mm. There's him and Hamming and playing to public gallery mm. and playing the optics of a decision. He's indecisive. He waits for the decision there's no other choice that he has to make the decision. The decision is made for him. He's not a natural leader. He's mm-hmm. a journalist, he's a spin doctor, and he's been found out. And unfortunately, what we should have done a long time ago, at the very start of this crisis, and hindsight's a wonderful thing, is had a national government. Put aside... A uh, national aside unity the government, you mean? A national unity yeah. government, but a national yeah. government, the same as World War II. We keep mm. drawing those parallels, but you know what? It's the politicking that has actually cost lives mm. because he's constantly weighing up how does that play to the polls? How does that play to the polls? How does that play to the polls? He's not making decisions, not making the hard decisions. And whether I do not like him, by the way, I do, I'm not a fan of Churchill's mm. personality. I'm not a fan of Thatcher's personality, but I have to say they were leaders mm. and they made the hard decisions, not the popular decisions, they is, made the is that, you know, you, you've got me cu- curious here, uh, Brent. Is there a leader that you believe has showed leadership in our country's history of prime ministers that you are a fan of? Because you've named two while caveating you're not fans of them. So I'm just wondering. Uh, well, yeah. I mean, and Stormer's not that because, I, I, to be honest with you, he's he's um well he's he's another of a certain ilk. I'll be honest. Is he I, showing I leadership? No, no, he's so, playing. But this is interesting because the, the two examples you've given of leadership, are, mm. you feel like you have to caveat that you don't agree with them, but it sounds well, like maybe they're the best examples you have, and so maybe you well, do agree with them more than you realise. Our best leader would actually be <laughs> Megan. Oh, it would be, would be Markle. Our best leader would be oh, Jacinda Ardern. Yeah. Our, our best leader yeah. is actually, to be fine, your previous caller was talking about a Hungarian strongman. Now, his politics is not very pleasant. No, no. But he is a leader, mm. and unfortunately, that's the, that's the thing. We want to populate. Boris Johnson is a popular celebrity prime minister in a national crisis. Yeah. He's the wrong man in the wrong place do, at the wrong so time. So do you think this, I mean, after the restrictions, ease, let's say we come to the spring, do you think this is going to change then? Do you think there will be some form of challenge? Well, there have to be, because I, I think, the, I mean, keep your friends close, keep your enemies even close. You have to ask the question, who's been leaking things out of cabinet? I mean, He's got his Machiavellian brother there, I would say, Michael Gove, who's been waiting in the wings for a long time. Mm. And therein lies our problem. We're, we, we are in a civil war with the Tory party over, uh, over what, potential leadership in the future. And the country is, is going to hell in a handcart. I mean, this is, this is the problem. We, we should have put aside the differences, have an, a national unity government. They did it in, in austerity yeah. in 2008, yeah. 2009. And if they were big enough... They should say to themselves, if they cared about the people, they cared about the country. Should have been done from the start, really. Well, yes. Should have been done from the start. And it's still not too late for that.